was fiddling around a bit with this kind of gear. It's the Lumix G81 or G85, G80. Um, and a lot of people in the YouTube community uh, were complaining about autofocus and um, a lot on how to deal with this topic. And they compared a lot to the Sony cameras to the Canon D80, D70, which have a really decent autofocus. But um, I think I figured out how to do a proper autofocus setting on this camera. There's just one tiny setting in this camera, which is uh, enhancing this a lot. And this is called quick autofocus. Let's dive in and get started. Let's just go into the settings. So you just hit here like the menu button. So let's just hit it. And what you want to do to activate the quick setting, quick autofocus setting, you go here to the, the tool with the C on the side, go to page two. And then you have here like the quick autofocus. And what this is doing basically, when you just dial down, uh, adjusts the focus automatically when the camera or jitter of the camera is not present basically. So that means when your camera is pretty stable or steady and the the uh, sensor is not that shaky anymore, then you, the camera adjusts the autofocus automatically and quicker. And that's, that's the thing to go. So by default, uh, this is deactivated. So by default, this setting was always off. And really just Turn it on, leave it as it is, and just watch the samples afterward. I have just dialed in the uh, custom spot autofocus, so you can set like a custom size. And this is pretty good for daily vlogging because you can just, just do things like this and it will refocus on the centered point. So it just takes some time. Sometimes, sometimes it's pretty fast and accurate. So depending on the contrast. And that has to do with a lot of things uh, that the cameras don't have a face detection autofocus, but a contrast based autofocus. So I will just now show you some examples on how this works and then compare it afterwards with the face recognition autofocus. So I'll just turn it around and then you can see. And please don't play me for the bad sound, so I've just used the internal sound card here and uh, hope the sound doesn't clip. And you see here, it's pretty good working, so you can just point somewhere and it's focusing pretty well, I think. So light, lighting here is also pretty good, the lighting conditions. And yeah, you see, even though it's in a pretty close up mode, like 12 millimeter. Uh, it's working pretty well. So you can also jump right in and it's focusing. This is now like a 35 millimeter. So even though you're maybe doing a lot of zooming and you see like a lot of other stuff like going forth and back so you see it works pretty pretty well pretty well switching to this camera so you see it's still focusing even though it's not uh, detecting my face at all and uh, just going forth and back it's okay it works and you can also just zoom right in and you see pretty decent so just takes some time so therefore I'm more into this custom autofocus grid uh, because it's faster and more reliable and most of the time you're in the center of the screen so I would recommend to stick with this so you see it works and it's it's pretty okay so I even tested it with uh, some movies so watched some movies and had just this camera hooked up in front of the screen and it detected faces and focused on it instantly so 
pretty decent. So now you know how to take advantage of a quicker autofocus, so just take care that your camera is not that jittery. You've turned on quick AF setting in the menu. And of course, don't forget to save you to your presets because otherwise it will be overwritten all the time you turn your camera on again and it will be deactivated again. So I will really recommend you doing some custom settings for yourself and just to be prepared, like maybe one with a face recognition as I did and one with a custom spot. If you use face recognition, then just uh, register your face in the camera settings. So I can do an additional video on that because that will vastly improve the autofocus of your camera when it's in face recognition mode. Give me some comments below if you like to share your insights on your settings or your experience with the autofocus of the G80 or G81, G85. Would be keen to know it. So cheers and see you soon.